Geelong Gallery was established in 1896 by 12 passionate Geelong citizens who believed Victoria's second largest and fastest growing city deserved a dedicated arts institution. The building has grown over the last century, starting from the Hitchcock Gallery at the Johnston Park end of the building, which was officially opened in 1915, built as a memorial to the late George M. Hitchcock. Subsequent additions have occurred over the last number of decades, including the temporary exhibition space under the Geelong Library and Heritage Centre, which opened in 2015. Since its establishment, a key priority of the gallery committees, boards and management has been to build a major collection of art for the people of Geelong. The gallery now has over 6,000 items in its collection, including Australian and European paintings, works on paper, silverware, decorative arts, sculpture and moving image works. One particular focus of the gallery's collection is early colonial images of the Geelong region, documenting the evolution of this important city and its environment from the mid-19th century to now. Key works in the collection include Eugene von Gerard's view of Geelong, painted in 1856, which is seen from a vantage point near the village of Ceres in the nearby Barrabool Hills. Arthur Streeton's ocean blue lawn, painted in 1921, in addition to John Skinner Prout's lithograph Geelong, printed in 1847, Alexander Webb's Yarra Street Geelong, painted in 1872, and colonial metalworks, including Edward Fisher's Geelong Gold Cups, commemorating the region's horse race winners in 1874 and 1890. The gallery is also home to a number of other iconic Australian paintings, including Eugene von Gerard's Aborigines Met on the Road to the Diggings, 1854, and The Weatherboard Falls, 1863, and Louis Bouvelot's On the Woods Point Road, painted in 1872. Russell Drysdale's iconic Australian landscape depicted in Hill End, 1948, and the much admired and perhaps most well-known work in the Geelong Gallery collection, Frederick McCubbin's A Bush Burial, painted in 1890. Geelong Gallery also holds a large and specialised collection of British painted porcelain spanning from 1750 to 1850. It is one of the most significant holdings in Australia and is part of a bequest by Geelong citizen Dorothy McAllister. Modern and contemporary Australian paintings, sculpture and decorative arts are also important components of the Geelong collection. Works by artists such as Fred Williams, Anne Thompson, Sally Smart, Peter Booth, Juan de Villa, Rosalie Gascoigne, Jan Sensbergs and John Brack adorn the walls, while in more recent years, works by contemporary artists such as Kate Bainan, Andrew Brown and Christian Thompson have joined the collection. A significant existing collection of works on paper dating from the 19th century to the present was added to in 2016 when the gallery became the custodian of the outstanding Colin Holden Print Collection on behalf of the Colin Holden Charitable Trust, which has expanded our presentation of works on paper considerably. Geelong Gallery is a public art gallery. You will notice, if you visit, that many of the works on display have come into the collection as a result of a bequest, gift to the gallery, or through donations made via the Australian Government's Cultural Gifts Programme. The gallery board and staff have the responsibility of preserving the collection for future generations of gallery visitors. Works of art deteriorate with age, and there are a number of factors that accelerate this process, including climatic conditions, air pollution, pests, light and handling. At the gallery, the conservation of artworks includes good housekeeping, monitoring climatic conditions, fumigation to prevent pests, and visitor education programs. Geelong Gallery works to contribute to the life and well-being of the city by fostering strong community engagement with the excellence of its collection, its creative lifelong learning experiences and inspiring exhibitions. We work closely with the City of Greater Geelong to reflect the city's designation as a UNESCO City of Design and to contribute to the city's vision of being a clever and creative city. We look forward to welcoming you to the gallery soon.